Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. We are going to do greetings today. Greetings, it is essential and it's very important in Arabic because Arabic is a very, very friendly language indeed. Let's look at the this S with dots below. And that is means sword, letter sword, representing this letter. So, so S. The dot underneath, meaning sword. Sobahul khair. Sobah meaning morning. Khair, goodness. Sobahul khair, morning of goodness. And reply, Sobahun nur, morning of light. Nur meaning light. Khair, goodness how wonderful is this to say morning of goodness to you and morning of light sabahul khair sabahun nur masaul khair masa that's evening evening of goodness masaul khair masaun nur evening and evening of light so let's try this together. Sabahul khair. Give me the reply. Sabahun nur. Masaul khair. Masaun nur. One more time. Sabahul khair. Sabahun nur. Masaul khair. Masaun nur. You try it now for me. Sabahul khair. Sabah al-Nur Masa al-Khair Masa al-Nur So go and practice that with anybody you know learning Arabic or an Arab person Just say Sabah al-Khair They will say to you Sabah al-Nur Masa al-Khair Masa al-Nur Right, let's continue what we are doing. Here we have further phrases to say, useful one, such as, how are you speaking to a man? Kaifa is how. Haluk, that's mean your condition, you, how, how, yawm, that's mean today. كيف حالك اليوم؟ How are you today? كيف حالك؟ That's ك. That's addressing to a man. You will see what's happened now when we are addressing the same thing to a lady. We say ك at the end. Here كيف ح. That's your ح. H with dot there. كيف حالك اليوم؟ How are you today? So اليوم means today. To a woman, kaifa is the same, which is how. That's your interrogative particle, how. Haluki, as opposed to haluka. So to a man, you're saying kaifa halukal yawm. To a woman, kaifa halukil yawm. The reply is neutral here. Bikhairin. Alhamdulillah. Fine, I'm full of goodness. Praise be to God. Kaifa halu kaliyom? Bikhairin? Alhamdulillah. A man and a woman can reply the same way. Fine, or oh, I'm full of goodness in me. And that is, and then praise be to God. I thank Allah for this. Kaifa halu kaliyom? Bikhairin? Alhamdulillah. كيف حالك اليوم؟ بخير الحمد لله. So, for a man, I say to you, كيف حالك اليوم؟ And your reply will be, بخير الحمد لله. If you're a lady, I'm speaking to you now, كيف حالك اليوم؟ And the answer is the same, بخير الحمد لله. 
Right, next uh, next step or next page is Wa'anta A. Ah, you may remember this before. Wa'anta Wa means and. Anta means you. Speaking to a male. Kaifa haluka. How are you? Wa'anta Kaifa haluka. Wa'anti. Now you are speaking to a female. Wa and anti. You. Kaifa haluki. So look at all the. The ending is tailored to the person you are speaking to in terms of gender. Anta becomes anti. Haluka becomes haluki. So, wa anta kaifa haluka. Wa anti kaifa haluki. So, wa anta kaifa haluka. Wa anti kaifa haluki. Reply, la baas. Shukran. La baas. Not bad. Shukran. Thank you. So you have option. If I say, Ya Talib, Kaifa Halu Kaliyaum, you can say, La Ba's. Not bad. Shukran. Thank you. Or, Bikhairin. Alhamdulillah. I'm fine. Full of goodness. Praise be to God. So you have option there. Um, wa Anta, Kaifa Haluka. Wa Anti, Kaifa Haluki. La Ba's. Alhamdulillah. O La Ba's. Shukran. Now, quick revision from the beginning. So I say to you, Ya Talib, Assalamu Alaikum. You say, Wa Alaikum Assalam, Ya Ustaz. Masmuka, you tell me your name. Ismi, you say Muhammad. I say, Wa Anta Masmuk, Masmuka, Ya Ustaz. I say, Ismi Imran. Ahlan wa sahlan bika, Ya Ustaz Imran. Ahlan wa sahlan bika, ya Muhammad. Kaifa haluka al-yawm, ya Ustaz? Bikhairin, alhamdulillah. Wa anta, ya Muhammad, kaifa haluka al-yawm? La bas, shukran. So, you are making progress. When you finish the conversation, you can, Fursa sa'ida, tasharrafna, ma'a salama, إلى اللقاء في أمان الله مع السلامة إلى اللقاء في أمان الله رب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم today إن شاء الله we're going to be practicing the with joining letters from ألف to يا now this is page twenty eight of the book now, what is on this page is this. You have two letters per page. And you will see the letter uh, on the discussion in red. Also, you see a line below where you can copy the, uh, the word as, as well. So, for instance, in this case, we have uh, Alif with Hamza. So, you have A, Ma, Ra. Amara is written in isolate format followed by about to join and then join form. Then you have below each uh, line of words you have another a line below for you to practice copying it out. But please do ensure that you, when you are copying them out you sound them, you read them as well to yourself. Now what I intend to do for you now on the board is to go through these pages from page 28 all the way to page 41. Uh, I will be writing the each word in isolate format first, the letters isolated, then show you how you can join them. At the same time we'll be practicing the reading. So please do try as well to read and but compare your reading to mine and your writing to mine inshallah. So let's now get that to business from page 28. So the first, um, let the first word on page 28 is Amara. So I will say A, Fatha, A, Mim. So that's your Mim. Let me write that one uh, for you. Um, you go and uh, go clockwise 
drop it and ama and then ra amara join them a ma ra amara remember your naughty letters cannot be extended to the left that's why you see that one is uh, alif is standing alone amara amara next is saala sin on its own fatha alif with hamza fatha lam sa a la sa a la join form sin alif lam go back to put sa hamza on top of that fatha la sa a la alif also cannot be join you can see it's not extended to the left sa'ala next is qara'a qa ra a qa ra a so put that one on top properly qara'a join form qa ra a qa ra a Qara'a. Note that this is Alif, the beginning, Alif in the middle, and Alif at the end. That's going through all the words like that. Each letter is treated to show you its position, how to write them at the beginning, the middle, and the end. So the next after A is Ba. So we're going to write Bala. Ba. Isolate. Lam, isolate, Ain, isolate, join, ba, la, a, ba, la, a, ba, la, a. In the book, you will see each word with its meanings in English. But to be honest, the aim here is not to learn the vocabulary. You may if you want, but the emphasis in the, this particular book is to teach you thoroughly to give you a good foundation how to know your alphabet, learn alphabet, how to write it correctly, and how to read correctly. Because at the end of the um, Arabic from the book, uh, from the beginning book part one, you should be able to, inshallah, if you follow the course very thoroughly, you should be able to read fluently any Arabic text. Providing that there is uh, all the vowels on them, Fatha, Kesra, Dhamma, and the rest. So I wouldn't worry too much about the, the meaning for now, but you may if you want, that's fine. So, Qara'a, Bala'a, Bala'a. Ba in the middle now is next one. Bala'a, beginning, and Shabi'a, Sha, B, A. Shabi'a. Sha bi a, sha bi a, sha bi a, sha bi a. That's ba in the middle. Now the next one is ba at the end. Ka ta ba, ka ta ba. So we have kaf at the beginning. Ta ba, ka ta ba, ka ta ba. Ka, ta, ba. Kataba. So, ba, the beginning, ba, the middle, and ba at the end. Now, let's now proceed to page 29 and start with letter ta. So, ta at the beginning, ta, i, ba. So, we have ta, the beginning, ta, ain, i, and then Ba, ta i ba, join it, ta i ba, that's a ta, and that's your ain, and that's your ba, ta i ba, ta in the middle, sha ta ma, we have sha, ta, ma, sha ta ma, sha ta ma. Shatama. So, 
Shatama. Shatama. The Buddha stay taught. So ta'iba shatama. Now we need ta at the end. Like nabata. Nabata. Na. Ba. Let's formulate our ba properly. Ba and then ta. Nabata. Na ba ta. Join them. Na ba ta. Na ba ta. Nabata. So that's uh, uh, page 29. We have ta'iba shatama nabata. And that give us the um, beginning for ta, the middle for ta, and the end for ta. Now continue now on page uh, 29. We're going to do letter tha, the beginning, the middle, the end. So thabata. Tha. Uh, let's just formulate that properly. Tha. Tha. Ba. Ta. Thabata. Join. Tha. Ba. Ta. Tha. Tha. Ba. Ta. Thabata. Now we need tha, the middle. Nathara na tha ra nathara na tha ra na tha ra nathara hand movement now we need tha at the end like um, a b tha a b Tha. Oops. A, B, Tha. So we have A, B, and Tha. A, B, Tha. Join. A, B, Tha. A, B, Tha. A, B, Tha. That's your Tha beginning. Tha, Ba, Tha. Middle. Na, Tha, Ra. Na, Tha, Ra. The end, a, b, tha. A, b, tha. The next letter after ba, uh, tha is jim. So we're going to do jim, uh, beginning, the end, and the middle as well. So let's, let's go. Uh, jim, the first one in the middle, we got the beginning, jabuna, for instance. Ja, bu, na. Jabuna. 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 Jim, the middle, Sajada. Sa. Ja. Da. Sa. Ja. Sa. Ja. Da. Note how I stop to write a Jim on top of the uh, of the, 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 the chair for instance this sajada is insane that seems providing the chair on which I'm going to write the gym so sa ja da sa ja da sajada now gym at the end is the next one now we have sa ja nataja for instance nataja Jim at the end. Na. Ta. Ja. Na ta ja. Na ta ja. Na ta ja. Again, the Jim, the final format, was written on top of the chair provided by ta. Like this. That's na ta. That's a chair on which the gym is going to sit. So I stop and I reposition my, my hand, write it on top of the chair, and you have the result. Na ta ja. Na ta ja. So, uh, gym, beginning, 
Jim, middle, Jim at the end. The next is ha. Let's have a look. So the next now is ha, which is the same uh, family as Jim and ha. So they're going to be the same, you know, way you formulate them, but just the different kind of word, really. So the ha, the first ha in the, in the, in the beginning is, let's say, ha me da. Ha. Ha me da. Ha me da. Ha me da. Ha me da. Look at how the meme is written in the, in the middle. One more time. So ha, you provide space for the meme, go back, close it up, go down, and that you're done. Ha me da. Ha me da. Now that's ha at the beginning. Now we're going to do ha in the middle shortly. So ha me da. Ha me da. Ha me da. Now let's do the ha now in the middle. Like a um what? What's it say on the book? It'll be uh sahaba for us. I think sahaba. Sa ha ba. Sahaba. Sa ha ba. Now you see the way I will stop to write this ha on top of the chair. So sa ha and then ba. Sa ha ba. Sahaba. After the sahaba, we have masaha. Like in the masaha. Ma mim ma sa ha. Ma sa. Again, stop to write the ha on top of the chair. Ma sa ha. Masaha. Well done. So you have now the ha, the beginning, ha, middle, and the ha at the end. Next letter is ha, which is of the, from the same same family. So we're now moving to page 31. Yeah? Page 31 of the book. Um, the, the, the masaha, of course, was on page 30. Now, page 31, we start with letter ha on page 31. So we have the first letter uh, is ha, that's ha si ra. We have ha si ra. Ha si ra. Ha si ra. Ha si ra. Uh, uh, letter ha, the middle, ba hi la. Ba hi. La Bahila Bahila Bahila. Again, you are writing the ha because in the middle on top of the chair, as I explained before. Bahila. Now we look at the ha uh, at, at the end. After Bahila, we need Nasaha. Na sa ha. Na sa ha. Na sa ha. Na sa ha. So it is vital to remember that the letter jim and ha and ha, when you are, they are written in the middle or at the end, the joint format, you need to stop and position them on the chair provided for them by the previous letter, by the letter before them. Right, carry on on page uh, 31. Let's do letter del now. So del at the beginning, da ha la, da ha la. So da ha la, da ha la. Da is a naughty letter, therefore it cannot be extended to join the letter to the left, da ha la. We have dal the middle, na di ma. Na di ma na di ma na di ma na di ma again dal cannot be extended to join the letter to the left na di ma sanada dal the end sa na Da. 
sa na da sa na da because dal now is at the end and the noun and the same they are all friendly letter they're joined sa na da dal beginning dal middle dal at the end sa na da let's now proceed to page 32 and start with letter vel vachara va kha ra vachara va kha ra vachara again you cannot extend the vel to the left vel in the middle na va ra na the ra nadara na the ra nadara so again you cannot extend the val to join the ra let's make sure we have enough space not too much but because there is one word so nadara nadara so that's na the ra nadara now Continue now on a page 32. We're going to do vel at the end, like a akhada. Let's do akhada here. Uh, a kha da akhada. A kha da akhada. You cannot extend the alif to join to the left. So we start the ha and a ha da. So val at the end, we have da at the beginning, da khara, da in the middle, nadara, and val at the end, a ha da. The next letter should be ra. Let's clear the board first. Right, we continue on page. 32 now and we start with letter ra ra at the beginning let's see what's the first letter there rakiba ra ki ba rakiba ra rakiba you go back and do your Vowels ra ki ba. Remember how we did we change the curve from this shape to this shape. You're compensating the um, for lack of hamza in the middle with the alif on top. So right one more time. Ra ki ba. Go back to do your curve. Put your vowel ra ki ba. Ra ki ba. Now we're going to write ra. The middle now, so that's ra at the beginning we've done. The middle we have shariba. Sha ri ba shariba. Sha ri sha ri ba. Again the ra cannot be extended to the left. Sha ri ba shariba. Now ra the end sha'ara sha ain a ra sha'ara sha a sha a ra sha'ara look i note how the ain in the middle has changed the shape slightly you need to be flat the head sha a ra one more time for the ayn to see how it's written. Sha. That's the ayn, flat. So you that's the close. Sha ara. Sha a ra. Sha ara.